welcome back to Unicorn Dust Designs. If you're new to my channel, hello, welcome, and thank you for clicking on this video. My name is Sammy, and on this channel we do DIYs, we do wood signs, we do thrift flips, we do a little bit of everything, and I could always guarantee you will laugh somewhere in this video. So you guys, today we are doing some Christmas two by four wood DIYs. So let's go ahead and just jump right into the video. For this project, we're gonna need three two by fours in three different sizes. And I promise, promise, promise this time I will leave all measurements in the description box. I'm so bad about that, but I will. So this first one, we're going to paint with white chalk paint. We're going to do the front, the back and the sides of all of them when we paint. Then I'm going to take this painter's tape and I am going to go at an angle. I'm going to, I'm going for like the candy cane stripe look. Okay. So you could see as I'm going around, it's not really giving me that many stripes. So I'm going to take that roll and I'm just going to start at another point. So you'll see right here in the middle, we're going to do another one. Now I'm not painting the back. So I'm, that's why I'm not fully wrapping it. Then I'm going to put a piece of tape on the ends of each side as well, just to get more stripes in there. Cause I didn't think three was enough. So once that is held down very well, then we are going to take Imperial, yeah, Imperial Red by Folk Art, which is an acrylic paint. Now, I have only been able to find this at Hobby Lobby. I can never find it at my Walmart. So that's where I get this one. It's the perfect Christmas red and it is matte. So I am just taking my synthetic brush. These are folk art brushes I get at Walmart and I am going to paint the front, the sides, and then I do paint the back. Maybe I don't No, I didn't do the back. And then I am going to take that painter's tape off and it only bled where like the the wood was super rough. Um, but other than that, I got some pretty clean lines out of this and you could see how it gives us our, our candy cape oh, striping. Now I'm going to take this wood disc. I get these at Walmart. We're going to take our chalkboard paint from Dollar Tree. And I will say that using a synthetic brush is your best option. Um, sponge rollers, or regular like um, chippy brushes leave texture on these. So I highly recommend using synthetic brush when dealing with the chalkboard paint. Now I'm gonna do two coats. The first coat kind of absorbs into the wood and then the second coat is gonna go on top and then that's what's gonna be like our final product. So you could see, oh, and let it cool down before applying that second coat. Now I am just, <laughs> this is such a crooked angle. I am finding the middle point of our two by four. I'm just going to apply it on there with hot glue. And then we are going to, what I should have done you guys too was clear the striped block before I put the chalkboard sign on. Now for this one, we're going to do antique green front, back sides, all of it. I'm going to grab that gold wax that I've been obsessed with from DIY. And we are going to apply that all over these edges. Isn't that so gorgeous? I wanted this one to be a little bit more simple. So you can see I'm dragging it around those edges, bringing it in at the sides. And then I do put some on the top as well. Now for our biggest two by four, we're going to take that Imperial red and cover the entire thing. Then I get the end of a paintbrush and I'm going to do very small polka dots. Now I could have used a dauber or something like that, but I wanted them to be very small, very subtle dots. That way the text that we put on here is what stands out the most. And you guys, the color options for this DIY are absolutely endless. So now I'm taking the words that I cut for my Cricut. And let me tell you this Christmas, I love how it's cursive, but it's bold. A lot of the Christmas, oh, the Christmas fonts, cursive fonts are like really thin. I love that this one stands out so much. And then we'll put days until on our green one, very beautiful. And then we need to season that little chalkboard. So you take a piece of chalk and you just rub it 
over and then you're going to wipe it off with a paper towel and this way your chalkboard does not stain and look at how cute these turned out i am obsessed with the colors that were chosen i was a little concerned the block on top was going to be too little compared to the rest but i think it's very fitting this is so easy for the kids just to take down and write when they're ready so i hope this inspires you to make some of your own for this two by four project you're going to need four two by fours of varying sizes you're going to place your shorter one to the side and then with the three remaining we are going to paint black or paint it the color of your choosing i think blue would look really great for this project too so after that is dry i am going to take the shortest one and we are going to build ourselves a snowman just like we did the other week so i am painting this all white front back and sides you don't need to do the top then I'm taking the Dollar Tree scarf and I have to say I preferred the scarf over the regular like cotton fabric that I used on the last snowman. And then I'm going to roll up the front so that we don't see like that little raw edge and it just looks more like a beanie I think. And then we are going to take the hot glue and we are going to hot glue the back to your piece of wood on both sides. Next, I take a piece of twine and I am going to double knot this up top. Now you can stick cotton balls in this or a paper towel if you want the beanie to look more full. But I have to say I didn't have a issue with that because the like scarf fabric was a lot thicker. I liked the way it looked. So now we are going to take that sponge uh, brush and if you remember last week, I used this to create dots. And like I've said before, you can use daubers. This is just what I had near me. So it's a great little hack to get these cute little circles. And y'all grilled me about how my <laughs> snowmen did not have mouths last time. So here we go for all of you that thought that they needed little happy faces. There we go. And then again, we do our triangular nose for the snowman. Snowmen are so easy to make. These would be great DIYs to do with the family. All right, now, uh, you guys, I cut these letters out and I was like, I don't need transfer tape. Like it's only letters. I could just, you know, peel them up and stick them on. No, no, you guys just use your transfer tape. Okay, because <laughs> I had to keep peeling this off, putting it on because it kept going crooked. So as you'll see with the next one, and then you guys, you could do these sizes all in your own preference. Again, I will give you the sizes that I chose to use, but they really can be any size that you want. And this is how this one turned out. I love, love, love the black and white with that color beanie. But like I said, I think that this would look really good in a blue color too with a coordinating beanie color. So this one was a lot of fun and it was so very easy to do. Hey you guys, I hope you're enjoying these two by four DIY projects. If you haven't noticed what has been a thing for me lately, you guys know that I enjoy doing them and I have been doing a lot of two by fours like within videos. So I was kind of excited to do a dedicated video of all two by fours. So I hope you're enjoying it and I hope it's inspiring you. And if you can't find these things on Facebook marketplace, um, I'm going to enter a clip of, you know, finding these two by fours in the discount section at your home Depot or a hardware store. And then the two by fours are actually not that expensive to purchase regular price. So that is an option as well. You guys know if you're digging me, if you're digging the channel, if you're digging the DIYs, then like subscribe and make sure to leave your girl a comment. I also have a bunch of links down in the description box for TikTok, a Facebook group, my uh, Instagram, my website, a little bit of everything. So everything will be down in the description box and let's go ahead and get back into this video. For this one, I'm going to use three pieces of wood in the same size. You can do one of these, three of these, two of these. Um, I just decided to do three different words on them, so I thought that I would show you that. So I am going to paint all of them in white front, back, sides. They're going to be freestanding. I'm going to grab my IOD stamps. These are, I think, the farmhouse fonts. And 
I am going to place these on my piece of wood first. I will leave the link to the website that I get these to. If you're a first time customer, use Unicorn Dust 10 for a discount. So you can see I'm placing these on. Then I'm gonna get my cutting mat that I've cut down to size. I'm going to stick it on to there. Then I'll flip that on around. I'm gonna use my IOD ink pad and stamp that with some black ink. Then I'm going to flip this on around very carefully, and then I'm rubbing my finger all over those stamps, making sure I get an even distribution of that ink, and look at how gorgeous that font turns out. And then I just wanted to show you this. You can see it's Mary, where obviously we need two R's. The stamps only come with one letter each, so I pre-place this out. I left a gap that was big enough for another R. I'm gonna lay this down, and again, rubbing with your finger. Now, if you lift your stamps up and realize you know, the ink didn't get somewhere, which you'll see right here on the R, I just carefully lay that back down and press it a little bit more, and I didn't get any shadowing or anything. I clean my stamps with a baby wipe and kind of let them dry a little bit. Now I'm going to leave the R on there and all I'm going to do is go over where it's missing and press it once again. Voila. Now I'm going to take some ribbon. I got this at Hobby Lobby for 50% off. It is in their Christmas section and I'm going to wrap it around the two by four and glue it to the back. Now I wanted to do the ribbon, um, after the font because I wasn't sure how much room this font was going to take on the piece of wood and this gave me the capability if I wanted to go down in size on the ribbon. Now I'm going to take these picks. You guys, these are from Dollar Tree. They're six for $1.25. They're called mini pine sticks or something, I think, and they are actually really, really good quality and I love the size. So pick them up if you see them. So I am going to hot glue this to our ribbon and I was able to use the top and the bottom of it without it looking like I cut off a piece. I don't know. You guys know what I'm talking about. And then I put the cotton on there. This is also from Dollar Tree and I'm just trying to get a lot of that hot glue under there since the cotton is a little like it doesn't have a flat backing to it so i was just trying to get it into all of those little grooves so you can see this is the second piece of the one um, pick from dollar tree that i used oh okay you guys so this is how all three of them looked and like i said you could just make one of these if you want. You can make three. You can make them in all different things, all different colors. You could use different ribbon, different, um, you know, holiday picks, or even I was thinking little ornaments would be really cute over that ribbon as well. So again, another very easy project to do. Now our last one. So you are going to need one, two, three, four. I think it's six pieces of two by fours. I'm going to use this beautiful antique green by Folk Art. You can get this on their website. The Plaid website sells this color. I haven't seen this color in stores. Let me know if you have. All right. So this is a lesson, you guys. So I am using Dark and Decrepit by DIY. It says that it is a top coat, a decoupage medium. Well, when I was thinking of using it, you can see I'm putting it over like where the raw wood is showing in my mind i was thinking this was going to be like a wax like the dark wax where i could easily wipe it off and it was just going to give it like a light kind of like wood stain well i was wrong okay so this stuff gets tacky very fast so it dries down so you can see i painted like i applied it all at once and then wiped it off at the end. And then you can see it looked streaky anywhere that I did not put it like, oh, it was no, no. So I was committed though at this point because I was like, I'm not going out. I'm not cutting another piece of wood and painting it and doing this and that. So I learned though. So I said, so like a million times, take a drink every time I say so. And 
now I am applying it and I learned you have to apply it and then you need to wipe it away right then and there. Do not apply it to the entire piece of wood and then wipe it down. Cause you can see it give, it gave me the most beautiful color once I applied it and then wiped it off of the piece. And I had to put it on the entire piece of wood or else it would give me that streaky look. Cause anywhere you don't put it, it's gonna show up that bright green. So I did end up liking the look of it, but it definitely isn't a wax. So keep that in mind. Now that I am done painting all of them, I am getting this Merry Christmas. I think I just used Courier font for this. And I'm using my Aura Mask 813 stencil vinyl. It's in my um, Amazon store link. And I am going to stipple on the Cashew by Waverly. I wanted to use this color because I was going more for a vintage -y feel and didn't want a stark white color on this. So I really enjoyed how this turned out. Then I peeled it and it came out pretty darn crisp. Now I cut stencils with my Cricut. I thought to myself, I could either cut two stencils or have to weed and cut six different um, or five different Christmas trees, which I was not down for. So you can use folder dividers, which I will put the link for that video down in the description box. I ended up buying the Mylar film from Amazon um, only because they come in 12 by 12 sheets and you're very limited in size with the folder dividers. So I'll add these Mylar sheets in the description or in my Amazon store. So you can see I applied it and then I did a second coat and then I peel it up and then you have yourselves a cute little Christmas tree. Then I'm gonna do the second one. Now with these stencils, you can seriously just drop them in like a very warm, not a very warm, warm water because if you're using chalk paint, it's water soluble and then just rub your finger on and the paint will come off and then you can reuse them and reuse them. So I went for a more simple tree for these sides and you'll, you'll see what I'm picking up, what I'm putting down here. Um, I wanted a detailed one in the middle and then I wanted more simple on these sides. These stencils work very great. They are very thin, just like the folder dividers. So that's why I'm saying if you can find the folder dividers, go get those instead of paying for the ones on Amazon. And after we're done, I do clear, I cleared all of these, you guys, with clear matte by Rust-Oleum um, because they're just going to be indoor um, decor pieces. And look at how beautiful this turned out. You could customize these with names if you wanna make the Christmas tree smaller. So I hope you guys enjoyed this two by four video. I know I certainly enjoyed making all of these for you guys. And I am gonna to try to list some of these on the website as well. Anik, thank you so much for the baby gifts. We appreciate it so very much. And Paige, Paige, but this is our second one because you know I added it to the registry and then she surprised us because of my cheetah obsession and she got the two big kids something too. So thank you so much, Paige, for that.